APES Energy Math. So go ahead and use this worksheet that you have called APES Energy Math to practice for the types of questions you might see on the multiple choice section of the AP exam. At the top of this page, it tells you to use 300 million for the population of the U.S. and 7 billion for the population of the world. Now I told you these numbers for this paper, but you need to have them memorized for the AP exam because they won't tell you. They expect you to know and use them. Number one, if the annual consumption of petroleum in the U.S. is about 24 barrels per capita, the total annual consumption of petroleum is... So you need to know that the population of the world is 300 million and that uh, 300 million people, excuse me, million people, and 24 barrels are used of oil per person. And so our peoples can cancel out. And so we can then multiply 300 times 24. And you can do it off to the side. Now, um, for an FRQ, you need to make sure you set things up with units and then do your math off to the side. So my answer is 7,200 million. Make sure you don't forget that word. If you just wrote 7,200, it would be wrong. 700 million barrels total. And now, if this was an FRQ, you could leave it at 7,200. But because it's a multiple choice, they're going to put it in a, uh, the more proper form, which is 7.2 billion barrels. So we're just going to convert million to barrel to billion, and we can do that by moving the decimal point over three spaces to go from million to billions. And so the answer is 7.2 billion barrels. Number two, in 2014, in the U.S., there were approximately 480 cars per 1,000 people. The total number of cars in the U.S. was, so anytime you have the word per, you can draw a line and put one above the other. So if I have 300 million people again, this time I made sure I put people in, times 480 cars per, and I can draw a line, 1,000 persons or people. So now my people cancel, and I can multiply 300 times 480. And when I do this math by hand, I'm going to get 144,000 million, but I need to divide that by 1,000 because my 1,000 here I still haven't dealt with. So I'm going to cross those out and I end up with 144 as my total. So if you did this with the calculator, again, you would multiply 300 times 480 and then you divide that by 1,000. And again, you can do the scratch math anywhere you want. So my total number is 144 million cars. One of the things that students often do is they forget the word million. I didn't cancel out million, so you have to leave it as your answer. Number three. Number three, the combustion of one gallon of automobile fuel produces about five pounds of carbon in CO2. Two autos are making a trip of 800 miles. The first auto gets 20 miles per gallon, and the second is a hybrid car that gets 50 miles per gallon. Approximately how much less carbon in CO2 will be produced by the second auto on the trip? I've seen this question before on released AP exams. So it's a two-part kind of question. First, you need to find out how many pounds of carbon are released by each car. So the first car will start there, and it's going to go 800 miles, and it gets uh, 20 miles per gallon. 
So I want my miles down here. So the per means that I can kind of put it above or below. It gets, um, for each gallon, it gets 20 miles um, on that gallon of gas. And so now my miles cancel and I can see how many gallons of gas it uses to go 800 miles. And you can do this for your own car to see how much it's gonna cost you to drive to Vegas or to Seattle. You can figure out by how many miles per gallon your car gets it and then um, divide that to find out how much money it's gonna cost you too and per gallon of gas. So how many gallons it's gonna use you and then how much money. So um, we can then take 800 divided by 20, and it's going to equal 40 gallons of gas for this first car. So now we can take that 40 gallons, and it gives us the conversion that for each gallon, it says we use 5 pounds of CO2 per gallon or is emitted, not used, I'm sorry, that's what's emitted into the atmosphere. So now our gallons cancel out, and we have 40 times 5, and we have here 200 pounds of CO2 is released by the first car, but we're not done. So now we've got to go on to the second car. So now we've got to do the second car, and the second car also goes 800 miles, and we're going to multiply this by one gallon of gas, and this one goes 50 miles per gallon. So my miles cross out, and I'm left with um, 800 divided by 50, so remember you have to do this by hand on the AP test, and when I do this by hand, I'm going to get 16 gallons of gas. So my total here is 16 gallons, but I need to take my 16 gallons and I need to multiply 16 gallons times 5 pounds of CO2 per gallon that is released. So I can multiply 16 times 5 and I'm going to and my gallons cancel and I'm going to end up with 80 pounds of CO2. Now the first car emitted 200 pounds of CO2 and the second car emitted 80 pounds of CO2 and so if I subtract I get 120 pounds CO2 less emissions by the second car. So the hybrid car will emit 120 pounds less CO2. Number four, a home uses 10 100 watt light bulbs for five hours per day. How many kilowatt hours of electricity are consumed in one year by using the light bulbs? Remember to convert watts to kilowatts. So I have 10 bulbs times 100 watts times five hours per day. I'm going to start there. So watts are weird because watts and hours smush together. So I end up with 10 times 100 times 5, which is 5,000, and we call these watt hours per day. It's kind of strange. That's the only one that does that. Watts and hours smush together, and we combine them that way. So now I'm going to convert to kilowatts, and I know from my metric conversion math that 1 kilowatt is equal to a thousand watts. So <clears throat> I can then uh, just divide 5,000 by 1,000 and um, my watts actually cancel and so I end up with five kilowatt hours per day. But I'm not done because it asks me per year, and this is where students often get for confused as well because it wants it per year. So now I'm going to multiply by 365 days per year, and now my days cancel, and when I do the math on the side, 365 times 5, I end up with 1,825, and that will be kilowatt hours 
per year. And so this is my answer for number four.